I'm pleased to announce that Ali Marmol will be the 51st Cardinals manager. We believe Ali possesses strong managerial skills that will allow for the Cardinals success to continue well into the future. He was a minor league manager at age 25, and now Ali Marmol is a major league manager at age 35. It was not a popular hire with some St. Louis fans simply because they don't know him. Tonight and tomorrow night on Hit and Run, you'll learn more about the man. Ali Marmol is our Cardinal Buick Sunday Conversation. Well, Ali, we have a lot to talk about, and I know you're very self-deprecating about your playing ability, but you are a sixth-round pick in baseball. I got a feeling that you were somewhat like Tommy Edmond. What do you think? Uh, Tommy Edmond's a much better player than me. I'll tell you that right now. It's not even close. Um, if, uh, yeah, he was, uh, I mean, switch hitter, runs the bases extremely well, great defender, uh, very knowledgeable of the game. Um, I had some of those attributes, but when it comes to putting it all together and being consistent at the level he is, um, we're different players for sure. True or false, though, this year you actually got a, a bat and you got a couple of hits off a pitcher with the Cardinals and you won a bet? <laughs> uh, Miles Michaelis was uh, rehabbing, and uh, he, he told me I couldn't get a hit off of him, so I stepped in and um, ambushed him on the, on the first pitch for a, for a base hit up the middle. You became a manager at age 25. At what point in your playing career did you know in your heart I'm not going to make it to the big leagues as a player, but I can do this as a coach or manager. Yeah, it was, it was my last year um, on the wall. Um, during spring training, I remember sitting there and uh, just having the feeling that I wanted to have more of an impact and influence on the, on the coaching side that I did the playing side. And I think halfway through that year, sometime in June, July, uh, I was released and asked the organization if I was able to stay on as, as a coach, but I was just more starting to get more passionate about actually instructing and coaching than I did playing. You were side-by-side side with Mike Schilt for years. What was that like, and what do you take from Mike Schilt? I was around him for a long time. I mean, going back to um, the draft, he put my name, his name on me as a player. And then uh, soon after I stopped playing, he uh, spent a lot of time and invested a lot of time in me as a, as a coach. Um, but I was with him uh, in the minor leagues. I was with him as his bench coach in the big leagues. And um, when you talk about structure and just overall attention to detail, um, he is uh, one of the best at that. So if you're asking me, one of the things I'm taking from Mike Schilt is definitely at the top of the list. There's a delicate balance between a manager pushing back against management and not pushing too far and going over the line. Can you discuss how you're going to approach that? Yeah, that's um, a great question. And for me, that's having enough trust to be able to have a conversation and, and disagree. I mean, in this industry, there's a lot of tough conversations that take place. There's tough conversations that take place with management with staff with players and, and it's a two-way street and being able to disagree on something and figure out at the end of the day if we're going to walk out of this room and what is best for this those cardinals um that to me is not personal that's a that's strictly part of the part of the business um so at the end of the day it's a matter of collaborating having disagreements um but having enough trust in, in the relationships um to be able to disagree and still move on and, and figure out what's best for the club Put into words what this job means to you. This job, um, when you think about managing for any organization, it, uh, it's pretty important. When you talk about for the St. Louis Cardinals, one of the best organizations in all of sports, it's incredibly humbling and it's, a, it's an absolute privilege. Um, the way we do things here for the minor league, it's second to none. And to be able to lead this staff and these players during this time, um, I'm extremely excited about.